Hi, my name is Wally Hoffman, and I'm one of the partners and founders of Living Vehicle. And today I have the privilege of visiting with Rob Lloyd. Rob Lloyd and his wife Bonnie are the owners of this uh, beautiful living vehicle. So uh, thanks for inviting us up to uh, your home. Glad you're up here. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves uh, and how you got into this business. Well, my wife and I, uh, back in 2008, uh, started our own wine business. I've been making wine for a few other wineries in the Napa Valley for years. Um, and the business has you know, continued to grow and I make wine for a few other labels along with our Lloyd sellers, Jessup and Handwritten, that have tasting rooms in Yachtville. And, um, we were able to purchase about 160 acres here in Napa a few years ago, and I had been trying to find a way to, you know, put a house or a tiny house or something up here, and could not figure it out until I came across you yes. guys. You're up on a little hill here, <laughs> where there is no electricity, no yep. water. Yep, and I mean, and this was the issue that, you know, when we looked at doing, you know, uh, something like a tiny home, you know, we'd still have to get, you know, solar, we would still have to have water and power and so you know it was what were we going to do and we found the living vehicle it just it basically ticked all the right boxes you know, the, i think my hardest thing was trying to find something that uh, i could get my wife to come up off grid and uh you guys were the only thing that was i could find that was nice enough because it's amazing you know to be off grid but still have kind of almost luxury living so rob here we are this is really something that's off grid no uh, city power no city water. What are some of the features in addition to off-grid that really drew you to living vehicle? Well, it's, it really was the luxury of it. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, just when you look online, you get an idea of, you know, how beautiful it is, but it's the functionality of it. You have two queens, one that can come out of the ceiling. You have two TVs. We have, you know, they, all the kids can be watching one thing in their room and we can be watching something in ours. And so it's pretty amazing to be able to fit you know, six people comfortably into a trailer. You also have some special off-grid features like composting mm -hmm. in the uh, toilet. Yep. How has that worked out? It works out great. It allows us to, just to put the gray water and urine right over the side and then compost, you know, any of the human waste. And mm -hmm. so it's pretty amazing, I mean, that we don't have to have, uh, you know, really any septic type of system up here. So tell me a little bit about your um, internet connectivity here. I know that might have been a challenge because we're somewhat remote. Yeah, we are. We're we're very remote. Um, you know, we decided to go with uh, a Valley Internet service, so we basically just have a dish and point it out to where the uh, the five G system is, and so we're able to get you know good enough internet to be able to run everything. Uh, I mean, I'll be up here some mornings and you know come out, have a cup of coffee, look at this beautiful view. Mm -hmm and be able to have complete connectivity. And now that, you know, there's also Starlink, you know, it's just, there's a lot of options to be able to have this thing wherever you want and as, as remote as you can be. So Rob, I really would like to hear the story. How did you get this living vehicle up on top of this hill? Uh, it was a, uh, it was a struggle. It, you know, you, you first look at this hill and it's like, oh, it's not that bad. But we actually, when we brought it in and it was on a truck, we had to hook a D8 tractor up to the truck and use that to pull it up. And even as it was getting to the steep parts, the, the tractor started waffling up in the air a little bit. So we were a little nervous, but uh, it, it's up here. And, you know, there's the thought of, you know, maybe at some time we'll, you know, kind of upgrade to a newer model. I just don't know how we can get this thing down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe eventually you'll have a little enclave of uh, several living Yeah, vehicles. actually, now, now you're talking. I kind of like that idea. I know my kids like that idea. Good. Yeah. Nelby Village. We'll be happy to help make that happen. So if you were to talk to somebody that was considering a purchase of a living vehicle, what are some of the options or extras that you've seen offered? And I imagine you've seen the new uh, living vehicles online. Oh yeah, no, I mean, you know, who doesn't look at new toys? I mean, we're guys, <laughs> we like toys. So, you know, the, the, some of the neat things, I mean, that I've seen with some of the new options, especially for someone that really wants to be off grid, 
you know, is one, you know, more power, but two, it's that water feature of being able to generate your own water. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, boy, you just start thinking zombie apocalypse, bring it on. I mean, we we can do everything. So yeah. it's pretty neat. Yeah. But in the meantime, under this situation, it looks like it's pretty uh, convenient for you to bring up one of these large tanks of uh, water. Oh, it's, yeah, it's no problem at all. We, you know, can easily bring it up on a skid steer and, and just keep it up here. And we have plenty of water. I mean, you know, we have a, the 325 gallon tank and you have a hundred gallon freshwater tank in here. So 400 gallons of water takes a, a long time to go through. Good. All right. Okay. I handle the service department of our company and customer service is our specialty. Um, give me the truth. How are we treating you? How's your relationship with Living Vehicle when it comes to service? Yeah, the service has been fantastic. I mean, we were talking earlier and told you a story. We were in London and um, I get a you know call from Living Vehicle and it's, you know, we're, we're seeing, you know, heat spikes. We don't think it really is a heat spike. And it turned out we had a wire, just a simple wire that had to be replaced, but it was pretty neat because, you know, again, we're out of the country and mm -hmm. to, to be able to have you guys monitoring it also, it is pretty neat. It's part of the VRM system yeah. that is connected to the internet. So yeah, you can monitor things here anywhere in the world. Yeah. There's also some additional features that I think, especially for this situation, that'll be nice is, um, the uh, security cameras. Yeah. If you ever needed to monitor things or check on something to see if the cows are breaking through the uh, fence. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it is pretty amazing to be able to be, you know, we could be, I could have been checking on it in London. We yeah. can, you could check on it from anywhere in the world to make sure that you're safe. And so we, you know, we're, we don't live in the living vehicle. I mean, we could, but we don't. Mm -hmm. But so it's nice that, you know, if we're not here that, you know, we can still be able to check on it. You guys can monitor the systems and it just makes you feel better that, you know, your investment's taken care of. So if a family like you that have multiple acres, acreage uh, to have a place like this, you don't get into the permit issues either, do you, of local government? No, I mean, it's when because that's a great thing. It is on wheels, so as mm -hmm. long as it's movable, right. it's not a permanent structure, so it mm -hmm. makes it real easy. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, we still have to get down the hill, but the great thing is if we ever wanted to take it somewhere, we can so it's just, it's a really nice option. Nice. And I noticed all of us have four by fours. Uh, no problem getting out here. Yeah. Good. What are some of the hobbies and uh, other things in your life that you do besides making really good booze? Uh, drink booze. So <laughs> I, I mean, but that's, that's a great thing here. We, we can come out here and you know, this, the, this vehicle is only about 25 minutes from our house from, you know, really downtown Napa. And so mm -hmm. we can, you know, when we need to get away, we can, and you can mm -hmm. just kind of be out here and it's, it's you, you basically be quiet. It is quiet out here. So yeah. it's just a really great getaway. Well, thank you for your time and yeah. letting us come out here and visit. No, very nice to see you again. Um, you know, I've been talking with you a bunch, but it's nice to have you back up. Great. We'll be back. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Wally. All right.